don't know how I've got these cars. My father was a drinker and a fiend. And one night he goes off crazier than usual. Turns to me and says, Why so serious? Sticks the blade in my mouth. Let's put a smile on her face. Why so serious? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am tonight's entertainment. Ah? Uh huh? Uh huh? Pretty good, right? Well, regardless, let's get into this. Welcome back. Oh, I didn't get this on the shot. Uh. Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another Cringing with Cullen episode. Since I was a kid, I've always loved Batman comic books. I've been reading them my entire life, and Batman is probably my favorite superhero. And what I always liked about Batman was that he always had some of the coolest villains in the comic book universe. And specifically, the coolest villain was the Joker. He's just a crazy clown who tells weird jokes and laughs a lot and kills people. It's really not that exciting when you think about it. And yet, I go on the internet and I am inundated with thousands upon thousands of Joker impressions. I look to my left, there's the Joker. I look to my right, there's the Joker. Hundreds of thousands of Joker impressions on YouTube. Some of them decent, but most of them utter cringe. And today I thought it'd be a really fun idea to just go through some of the many Joker impressions that I found on YouTube and grade them based on accuracy, effort, and overall obsessiveness with the Joker. So with that being said, let's not waste any more time and let's get into this video. Well, I don't know how I got these scars. My father was a drinker. I, I truly have no idea why this guy thought he was in any way close. I mean, in some aspects, I appreciate that he didn't bother putting on the makeup because this sounds more like a cashier trying to ask me about my day. I mean, I, I'm really sensing no levels of insanity, just just some sadness, to be honest. And the fiend. And one night he goes off crazier than usual. Mommy gets the kitchen knife to defend herself. He doesn't like that. The only thing this guy would ever kill is a plate of ribs. It even looks like he's continually licking the barbecue sauce off of his bottom lip. Not so one bit. I'm also gonna have to dock a few more points because I sense genuine kindness in this man's eyes. He looks like a mother who's concerned about her kid in school. And he seems like he genuinely cares about me. Why so serious? The effort isn't there, the obsessiveness isn't there, the accuracy is far and above, nowhere to be seen. This one gets a solid F. I'm gonna need to see a lot more effort next time if this guy wants to improve his current grade, cause this is just pitiful, honestly. I like how he starts off with this cryptid image of one of the goons from the movie. It really reminds me of, like, cryptid images you'd see pasted over a bad creepypasta. And it really sets the mood for the scene, so let's see where he takes it. Hi. <sighs> you know... He really looked like he was about to puke to start this off. Uh, maybe he was trying to do it preemptively before we did. When, uh, you and... Rachel! Rachel were being abducted. I was sitting in Gordon's cage. I really don't know why he chose to yell that one line. I'm pretty sure that Heath Ledger doesn't do that in his performance. That felt like a really weird choice to make for this, and honestly, I did not appreciate it. I didn't rate those charges. Your men, your plan. Do I really look like a guy with a plan? Somehow he's coming across even more intense than the Joker himself, and that is in absolutely no way a compliment. I mean, he looks like he's mixed meth and speed and shot them into his neck before leaving his dorm to visit the quad and hit on some sorority girls. Not really enjoyable at all. I'm gonna give this one a D. If you have not seen this next one, I highly recommend it. This is actually a classic that I was familiar with before I started this video. Let's get into it. <laughs> 
He really jumps into this one raw and no rubber, giving off probably one of the worst Joker laughs I have ever heard in my life. He barely squeaks out that mouse fart of a laugh. You can physically feel the struggle he has in trying to sound like Heath Ledger, and he just does not come anywhere close. Your room is a mess. I don't know. What the hell's wrong with you, man? What are you doing? What is this? Making a video. Making a video? Yeah. Why do you paint your face, bro? Because I'm being the Joker. What really cements this video as a classic is the two roommates walking in. The fact that someone would do this in their college dorm room knowing full well that they could get walked in on at any moment is truly horrifying. Why you be the Joker, dude? Yeah. Dude, because the Joker's awesome. Get off it. Dude, but you ain't even close to looking like him, dude. You gotta be white in the face, bro. Of course not. I didn't, I didn't want to put the white stuff on and I have to wait half an hour for it to dry before I put the you black like the Joker? Hair. Yeah, he's awesome. Well, he's awesome. <laughs> he likes he's pretty cool. He likes the joke. Okay. Shit, you can sense that they're too weirded out to even roast him. It's completely amazing. Can you laugh like a joker? No, I don't. That's scary. Do you don't hear it. Don't laugh dude, like dude, me. dude. Don't. What's even better is that they put him on the spot. They give him an impromptu test to see if he can truly match up to the legends before him. And he just completely falls flat on his face. Despite the hours of practice he clearly put into this role, he just was not able to handle the pressure and cracked under the heat. <laughs> what I will give points for is the fact that this impression did actually manage to truly scare people in real life. However, it was not a fear of the impression itself, more of the person lurking behind it. This one will get a solid C- minus for making me laugh so hard. Now, we've seen a lot of impressions of Heath Ledger's Joker up until this point, but for a fun change of pace, why don't we switch over to the more modern interpretation of the character with Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix actually won an Oscar for his role of the Joker, which has never been done before. So let's see how his contemporaries pair up. Here's one. Knock, knock. I want to do it right. Yeah, this one is beyond bad. I, I mean, it's like he's in the principal's office explaining why he felt the need to bite Ricky's arm at recess. It's the police, ma'am. Your son's been hit by a drunk driver. He's dead. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, Murray. He's so quiet, it makes me imagine he's trying not to wake up his older sister because she has a big dance recital tomorrow. It also looks like he's jerking himself off using only his mind and is constantly on the verge of coming his pants. <laughs> My life is nothing but a comedy. <laughs> the makeup is decent, but he doesn't look anything like Hokeen underneath. Also, I think I own that same exact tuxedo. Yeah, as I think I definitely own that same tuxedo. Oh, wait till you see this one. Is it just me? Or is it getting more cringe out there? I know. This one gets a D minus. Also, can't forget that Jared Leto did his own version of the Joker. I personally thought that Suicide Squad was hot dog shit, but apparently it was good enough to warrant at least one impersonation. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, aside from the fact that he's playing copyrighted music that would get me demonetized, his impression is pretty spot on to Jared's. And by that I mean it's complete garbage. And if you thought he was saying anything comprehensible, you'd be wrong. It sounds kind of like this. He's breathing so hard it makes me feel like he's just tenderly fucking me in the ass. It's awful. It makes me incredibly uncomfortable. F minus. Fuck Suicide Squad. Also, I'm not sure where to fit this one, but this guy on TikTok is bringing it to a whole different level. Rizk Tar? Rizk Tar? Or however the fuck you pronounce his name, this guy has a gigantic TikTok following. All because he's able to make one weird face.
Notice I didn't say Joker face because he looks nothing like the Joker. He doesn't even attempt the voice. I mean, arguably the only two things you need to impersonate the Joker are missing here. I can't even grade this work. It's incomplete. And that's truly disappointing. Moving on to our final video, I want you to forget everything you thought you knew about a Joker impression. Because what you are about to see is not an impression. This is truly an embodiment. Want to know how I got these scars? Well, I'm the Joker, baby! <laughs> now this is true art. I would dare to call it a masterpiece. Everything I've said up until now does not apply to this actor. Nay, this magician. He has taken one of the most difficult roles and made it his bitch. Everything is accurate. The voice, the costume, the very energy of the scene. At first I thought I had accidentally clicked on a clip from the real Dark Knight movie, only to realize when Drew uttered his iconic phrase, I'm the Joker, baby. I have a wife who is beautiful, just like all of you, who tells me I worry too much, who tells me I ought to smile more, who gets in deep and gambles with sharks! The only word that could describe this performance is brilliant. They say the only true way to play the Joker is to make it your own. I have zero complaints about this interpretation of Heath Ledger's Joker. In fact, I think he'd be proud if he knew that actors of this caliber were carrying on his legacy. And now, I see the funny side. And now, I'm always smiling. A plus. Now, from all of this, what can we surmise? I think we can say that the Joker is an incredibly popular character. And with anything popular, there will always be copycats. And that should be expected and celebrated, you know? The role of the Joker is subject to a lot of praise, but also a lot of detriment. And that's why it's such an impressive role to undertake. Out of all of these performers, though, I can say that there is only one who stands above. And it is Drew. That is all. With that being said, have a good day and peace.